for me on the um, 21st of July uh, 2001, um, I basically broke my back and that moment would always obviously change my life. So as a disability sport to be alongside the likes of Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal and we're competing in that second week of a Grand Slam so it's the quarterfinals, the semi-finals and the finals and we're there amongst that buzz so the year that Andy Murray got to the final um, at Wimbledon and, and won but we also had wheelchair tennis going on and it's on the red button but people don't know it's on the red button and you could see people walking past and they would stop and so the crowds around the wheelchair tennis courts that were going on just grew and grew and grew to the point where they put us on, um, on one year on, on show court number two. So for a wheelchair sport to be kind of there and being figured it's, it's definitely getting better and better. But it was amazing the, the opening ceremony for the Paralympics we had Pete Norfolk who is um, the guy that first got me into wheelchair tennis. Um, and he was the flag bearer. So for wheelchair tennis, we were kind of there, the first people into the stadium and the roar that flowed around was just phenomenal and is something that will uh, stay with me for the rest of my life. The legacy of a Paralympic tennis event was played at Eton Manor. So that was a purpose-built stadium for the wheelchair tennis because the able body of the Olympics was played at Wimbledon. Grass court and wheelchairs were there, but it's not the best surface for us. We are a little bit slower on that surface. Um, so they made a, you know, a, an actual stadium for us. They then took down that stadium and gave it to hockey, which I'm really de gutted about. But in terms, for me, like disability sport is definitely getting better. The fact that we're at Wimbledon and the Grand Slams, it's a disability sport that is always getting more and more um, presence in the media. But the fact that you don't know it's on the TV and that you have to find it on the red button, it shows that there's still a little bit of a lack behind where it should be. Like the others, we live in a little bubble, so what we do in our sport isn't necessarily what's going on in the other sports, but I just know wheelchair tennis is definitely a professional sport. We're all training five, six hours a day, five, six days a week, um, and we want to win medals, um, and we want it to get better and better. And I hope that Rio won't let us down because London has just raised the bar massively as, as both a spectator side and an athlete side.